all my options, worked off my dues, played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose. Don't want tomorrow to be like today, that's why I'm breaking away. I'm trying to run, I'm trying to hide, what can I win if I'm losing my pride? Won't let tomorrow be like today. should be spread like butter. Here we go, lads, eh? Another Friday afternoon lecture on the deficiency of German workmanship. I'm just making a comment, aren't I? You know, as a craftsman, like. No, you're not. You just can't stand bloody Germans, man. Yeah, what was it last week, Scaffolden? Shuddering. Scaffolden was too big to Look, man, all I'm saying is, I wouldn't like to live in them houses when they're finished. I mean, in a couple of years' time, the walls of them will have more holes in than Newcastle United's back four. Well, in which case, they'll be a little bit more mobile, won't they? That's where the term jerry built comes from, you know. Oh, get away, man. Rubbish. It is, man. Well, it's common sense, isn't it? Jerry built. Built by Germans. Crap quality. Substandard. We did a pretty good job with that Berlin wall, Oz. Dividing the city overnight. Aye. Uh, <laughs> I can't argue with that one. Right. Ah, but that was lads from the east, wasn't it? Union labour. Not untrained scabs like what we're working with here. Shush, man, keep it down. I'm right, I'm right, I know I'm right, man. Yeah, here's a bloke who'll know. Buddy. No, buddy. What? Settle an argument, will you? You know the term jerry built? Well, I see. That comes from the fact that the crowds build such crap houses. Hey, just put him straight, buddy, yeah. will you? No matter of fact, I can, Dennis, yeah. The term jerry build has actually got a biblical source. Yeah. Biblical? Where'd you get that from? West Bromwich and District Sunday Methodist Quiz Lake, mate. I've captain our team for two years, I did. Would have been three, you know, but... Nah, I mean, I was used to not one of the children of the Methodist hierarchy. Denzel Robinson, his name was. Made me sick, he did. He was always after my position as captain. But, oh, no, he got it in the end because he was the bloody virgin's son. Makes it sick, nepotism, doesn't Just it? get the point, buddy, yeah? Right, so. Now, it's all to do with the walls of Jericho, you see. Now, Jericho was a city in ancient Israel, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, Joshua and the Israelites were laying siege to it, right? Because it had been captured by a... Uh, somebody else, I, 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 don't, I can't remember who it was. Anyway, now, one day, Joshua got a hot tip from our Lord, right, and proceeded to march his men round and round the city walls, right. Round and round they went for seven days, right, and at the end of that, they ringed the city walls, right, and gave an almighty blast on their trumpets, and the walls fell down. Trumpets? Who was it? The jewel loss orchestra? No, 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 listen, listen, listen. The combined noise of those trumpets, right, caused this amazing sonic vibration, which caused the walls to collapse, right? Hence, built like Jericho is a term of abuse, right? Hence, we have the term Jerry built. There you go. You can't argue with a Bible scholar. Well, them walls couldn't have been very strong in the first place if a few blasts of a trumpet knocked them down, could they? Probably built by a German firm. Aye, there they go. Off to their nice, comfortable homes. Aye, they'll have a big tea waiting for them. Glass of foam and beer. 
Slippers worn by the fire. Yeah, and his feet up in front of Coronation Strassen and a quick bit of the old leg over on the city. Is that all you think about, Wing? Take him. Only when I'm awake, Moxie. At night when I'm dreaming, I think of carpentry, don't I? <laughs> right, what's it gonna be tonight, boys, then? A nice bit of gourmet cooking out the hut and then a uh, couple of gallons will be at the club, eh? Hey, that's a good idea, Ross. We haven't done that for uh, 24 hours. Actually, Dennis says it's on a very serious point here, you know. Really? I've been reading this book recently about health food, see? Uh, and I reckon <laughs> our dietary habits leave a lot to be desired, I do, mate. Especially from the point of view of roughage. What's roughage? <laughs> roughage? <laughs> to you. Well, how, how can I put it? Um, look, if your so bowels cool. were Jericho, Roofies would be a trumpet. <laughs> oh, centipods, Lee. <laughs> well, not quite. No, it's thinking more on the lines of bran or a uh, no, nice vegetable curry. Oh, ah, no, it's a pretty one in Germany, Bolly. Still, eh? You could always nip out to Bradford for a takeaway. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Busbridge, come please, telephone. For me? Come on, Bolly. It's probably little ones you've won the jackpot. Oh, that would be my luck, I ain't. Bet my money, will you, Nev? Aye, sure. Hey, Bubba! Don't bother your fear, my man. Ask all Rick if he knows of any Indian restaurants. Ah, there. I'll leave you alone. It's your wife, my wife. Hello, Patsy. What's the matter, girl? You know something, why? I look truly disgusted, neither. Oh, what fat and grease for there's nothing wrong with sausages, Barry. You know, of course, uh, I do need a lot of meat to keep the old pecker up. So I can understand why you two don't appreciate their finer point. Any aphrodisiacal qualities that those bangers may possess can be equally well obtained from various herbs and spices. Oh, yeah, you mean like that, uh, uh, you know, ginseng stuff? A sub moxie, yeah, ginseng. China's magical root. Yeah. What do I want ginseng for when I can get a magical root with free gin and oranges? Cheap sexual innuendo can't destroy my argument, why? Fancy one, Mux. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, fat grease gristle equals acne and heart attacks, Mux, eh? <laughs> Maybe not, don't we? Has uh, anybody got any spare coins, lads? I'll be phoning Brenda later. Aye, there's some there, on the, on the chest now. Oh, cheers, Dad. Oz? Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, the bones are out. I don't know why I'm coughing up. Don't go along with all this soppy behaviour. It isn't soppy, Oz. It happens to be a gesture of affection between two people who are reluctantly parted, that's all. I don't expect you to understand that. What do you mean by that, Lake? You know fine well what I mean. What? Well, the only time your Marjorie ever gets a phone call out to you is when you're wanting money sending. That's not true. I rang on Monday to find out the FA Cup draw, didn't oh, I? pack it in, man, will you? It's like bloody St. Trinian's in here some nights. I'm sorry. It's him I'm talking to, man, not you. Oh, it would be me, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, yours. It's me, man. It's, it's just Friday nights I get really pissed off, you know? I mean, you work every hour that God sends to try and scrape together a decent few quid, and the only way you can get through the boring, bloody weekends in this horrible hut is to blow all the money you've earned. Ah, uh, you're right, Lee. It's a vicious circle, that's what it is. What you need to go to skimp on a beer, eh? That'll soon cheer you up. Right, I'm going to have the club for an apple church. Anybody coming? Yep. Yeah, 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 as soon as me barnet's ready, yeah. Hello. Hey, Wayne, do you want that last baguette? <laughs> I thought the idea of a scouser on ill food was a bit unlikely. Help yourself, son. Oh, great, cheers. Oh, wait. It's gone cold. <laughs> How, how much is this going to cost, Brenda? How much? No, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, Brenda. I think what the doctor's trying to say is we live now and pay later, is that it? Eh? That's all right, Wayne. Yes, we live for today without thinking of the consequences of tomorrow. Yeah, you're like that, you know, Wayne. All that taking you get up to. Take its toll one day, you know. Your body will be racked with antisocial diseases. Right. Yeah. Well, if it is, mate, I'll uh, cop for a bit of compensation, won't I? Well, I hardly think the clap counts as an industrial injury. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I work hard enough for it, don't I? All right. I'm off, lads. I'll see you tomorrow. Got to find a young lady down the old town, never, right? <laughs> hey, Barry, you're right, this one. She makes you pay now and live later. Right. Yeah. Hey, come on. Good one. 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 Good one.
Okay, pet. Poor little push, we must be working overtime tonight. Well then. Oh, uh, sorry, Oryx says there's an Indian restaurant on the uh, Hofburg Strauss in here tonight. Oh, oh no, my hey, 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 never mind about the restaurant, man. What about the phone call? Oh, it was nothing. Patsy just laid something at home, that's so all. She was just wondering if I knew where it might be. Nothing, nothing. Bloody long phone call to play hunt a slipper, wasn't it, eh? It's Bummer's business, my nose. <laughs> well, you've just... It's Bummer's business, right? Oh, you you're going to go out for a call, I think, eh? Yeah, I'm on. I am going, I'll be, you know. What about you, Bummer? Oh, I think so. I'd give it a miss, actually, then. We West Country folk don't go much on East Country grub. Well, go on for a curry now, they're coming. Oh, no, I can't, lads. Sorry. Brenda's putting a squeeze on us again. I think some way of saving more money. All oh, right. What's she after now? Some bed or a bloody jacuzzi. <laughs> oh, my wife's domestic priorities are between me and her. All right, Moxie. Hey, lads, lads, man, lads. This is getting ridiculous, this, man. I mean, what happened to the musketeer spirit? You know, we're all turning into a lot of greedy little bastards, ain't we? Look, boys, I'm sure under normal circumstances, both Bomber and Neville would love to accompany us to the restaurant, right? Well, tonight it's just not possible, OK? Well, I think their behaviour is downright antisocial. Well, it's at a restaurant, what's wrong? Yeah. We're going to be stuck with Barry and Moxie all night. Half Bergstraße, near the library. Uh, uh, the Kyber, I think it's called. The Kyber, right. Uh, oh, is that the name of the restaurant or the library? No. <laughs> <coughs> Would you believe it, eh? Home from home. Flock wall paper. Tigers. You ain't gandy on guitar. Yeah. The only thing I haven't got today in your class next to a bit of astria. Good night, my dear. Yeah, good night. Um, fair tish, bitter. Wie bitter? Uh, um, table for four, please. Four. Ach so, einen Tisch für vier Personen. Nehmen Sie bitte Platz. Ah, that's oh. it, that's it. Do you not speak any English? Sprechen Sie, uh, nie Englischen? Like, Augenblick. Moment. Would you credit it, eh? Indian way, that what can I speak English? Aye, well, we are in Germany, Oz. Exactly. So why isn't he speaking English? I mean, he's one of us, isn't he? I mean, this is a curry house, isn't it? Can I get much more British than that, can you, eh? Oz, how many times have I been out for a curry with you in England? I don't know. Half a dozen? Aye, on each occasion, no matter where we've been, you've called the Indian waiter as either Sabu or Gunga Din, you know? Right. But now we're in Germany, you expect this Indian lad to treat you like some long-lost brother. So what, like? You would have made a great imperialist, you would. Das du auch Englisch English. Also, Sie können ruhig auch English bestellen. Please. 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 Thank you. I don't believe it. The whole menu's in German. It's only one word I understand here. Biryani. Don't even know what that is in English. What's, um, what's Bombay Kartoffen? Yeah, yeah, Gizzle, Gizzle, Gizzle. I'll handle this. Oh, Sabu, come here. Yeah. Never mind them. Look, we want two beers, right? Swipe beer. Yeah. yeah. Jug of water for these two. Yeah, a bit of water. Yeah, sorry. And uh, four chicken curries with rice. M curry rice? Aye, curry rice. That's it, my chicken. You know, chicken. Wah, wah! Wah, wah, wah! Yeah, yeah, I should say that, Alice. Yeah, right. sure. So, there you are. Spoke English all the time. Cheers, Bob. Good cheers, Nemo. There must be some way I can save a bit more of me money. Aye, uh, this is it. Sitting in at night, feeling bloody miserable. Working man's entitled to his leisure, Neville. Shouldn't feel guilty about it. Uh, I know, I know. It's just, if I earned a bit more, you know, I wouldn't feel so guilty about going out with the lads. Don't be so sure. Bomber's first law of economics is, the more income he gives me, the more I live behind it. Perhaps you could do the little spare time job. A bit of moonlighting. <sighs> Fat chance. Anyway, what are you doing in tonight, Bob? You're not saving as well, are you? Not exactly. Bummer just needs to think a bit, that's all. 
don't want to pry, Bomb, but, uh, well, if there's any problem, you know? She's a problem. Tracy, my 16-year-old. What's the matter, Lee? She ran away from home. Oh, no. Might be not in the car. She left a note. Didn't say she ran off with a used car salesman or some big group. So what are you going to do? Phone the police? We've already did that this morning. I've heard nothing by Sunday. I'd... I'll have to go back. Hey, well, look, I'll have a word with the lads and we'll have a whip round for your plane ride. Oh, thanks, Neville, but don't do that. Don't ever want long faces, do we? No, I suppose not. Hey, look, do you fancy a beer over the club? I thought you were trying to save your money. Well, I am, but it doesn't seem that important now. <laughs> you both fellas. The thing about Indian food is, right, it's very, very, very low in carbohydrates. Yeah. So that, combined with the various herbs and spices used in the cooking process, it all makes up for a very, very yeah, healthy aye. diet, you say. Aye? So how come that all so skinny, then? And not skinny? The wiry man, they like whippets. Yes, what you'll be like without that ale gut. Hey, hey, this is all muscleless, son. You know, like the stuff between your lugs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. Bit of sure. steaming hot chicken curries. Oh, it's uh, far be it from me to cast aspersions on your undoubted talent as a mime artist, but uh, that's not chicken. It's prawn. Prawn? Ah, oh, you know, man. Prawn? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, here comes the curry brigade. Four hey, more beers, right? That's what you want a quiet night in. Ah, well, we're in here. It's quiet, isn't it? <laughs> How'd it go? All right, oh, good right, go. He never spoke any English, man. None of them, just German. <laughs> never got one damn thing I asked for. I told him, like, I said, look, we're not coming back here. Well, you get a waiter on hoping to speak the King's English. Oh, you know, he didn't speak English, did he? So that was a waste of time. Yeah, you hadn't started flapping your hands around like an hysterical owl. I wouldn't have dead guts now. Well, I noticed you never left none. Oh, I did all right, I've got some seeds. Come for some seeds for me. Oh, God, I'm going to The Percy throw the dust off. Yeah, how do you know what the seeds are? They couldn't even get the food right. Like you end up with a gaping beanstalk. God, <laughs> Mark, I don't care. But <laughs> beanstalk. No, no. Hey, oh my lads, man, there's a man outside. Had a curry last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, we now was. We were with you. What do you reckon the soil's like? I'll let you know when I find some, shall I? It's all industrial slurry, this is, you know. Uh, very reminiscent of Tipton. Our family had an allotment back home, you know. Yeah? That's very important, that is, you know. Yeah, traditional right of the urban working class, that is. What sort of things did you grow? Oh, I didn't grow nothing. Dad used it to bury all the gear he nicked from Fords. Oh, I see. So you're telling me one day a little Cortina Mark III will sprout forth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello. Who's died in the night then, eh? Oh, the original one, yeah. The only, the, uh, only the fifth person to make that remark in the last ten minutes. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, what you doing, eh? Come on. Bloke down the curry house last night. Uh. Give us some seeds. We're planting an aid garden. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, son. Put me down for a couple of sprigs of the old bob. I hope I ain't had a decent smoke since I've been out here, have Typical, I? Typical, that is, isn't it, eh? Hey? Here we are, trying to produce life-enhancing vegetation. <laughs> and all you can think about is mind-destroying drugs. Yeah. yeah, well, please yourself, son. Listen, I wouldn't go playing up the old site, you know? They might want to build on it. It is theirs after all, you know? Well, if that's the case, we'll make a personal plea to Herr Grunwald, won't we? Eh? Hey? Ask him to change his plans in the interest oh. of conservation, eh? Hey? Hey, Nev. Nev, I'm going down for a beer later. Do you fancy one down the club, mate? Ah, uh, no, thanks, mate. I'm on a bit of an economy drive. Eh? Um, oi, keep off the grass. <laughs> All right, lads? Hey, Nev, 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 herb garden. Go oh. on. How's it going, Nev? Oh, great. We're almost ready to put the seeds in. Hey, do you want to give us a hand to plant some seeds? Ah, uh, no, I can't worry. I've got to go into town, plant a few seeds of me one. What's he mean by that?
What's he after, Dennis? We need you too. Family favourites. It's all changed now, you know. Divvy David on Sunday lunchtime. Ah, oh, so that. Hey, what happened to the sultry voice of Jean Metcalf? Eh? BFP or just what Dorf could do with her? Part of the great British Sunday, she was. Oh, there's a beer here, Kurt, will you? Where were you, lads? Hey, did you win? Ah, oh, I couldn't find anyone to play with, could we? Ah, oh, there's a one for everybody, mate. Church man has shied off. So it was some sort of religious holiday or something. Oh, like Sunday, you mean? Aye, oh, so we just had to give him a three pots in against the side of the hut. Hey, I hope you didn't trample over our air yard. Was that what it was? I thought it was a six yard box. Aye. No more Jean Metcalf, eh? Part of my grown up process, she was. Sound of her voice, the smell of beef roast in the kitchen, they go hand in hand. A glass of shandy with Grandad. Then in the parlour for a Sunday dinner. Then a hot bath where sing something simple. Then uh, pretend to do homework while Pick of the Pops was on. Aye, Sundays were really bloody boring when I was a kid. We call his lads, they're gonna make a quick follow. Right. Oh, what am I doing telling me you're getting all soppy and slavish? Shut it, Lord. Oh dear me, your good mood didn't last for long, did it? Hello, the papers. Hey, Gav Phillips, 23 marks of assorted intrigue, violence, and sex. Right, oh, that's just a up. football, eh? <laughs> well, that's 1 3 1, are we? Hey, us, us, what Adam is doing, eh? 1 1, Coventry. 4 1 again, Moxie. Oh, great. 3 0, there's no stopping them, is there? Oh, man, you know what you went with, done, man. These are the pretty Scottish editions, man. I'm going to read about that deal and done, dear. Oh, great, great, yes. I know the gratitude, I'll give oh, them down in the dog. Give them bloody newspapers. Oh, Christ. Hello, Patty. Here we go. Can I share them? Right, OK, then, my lover. Let's see what I can do. Hurry, hurry. It might have to be the train, though, because I'm a bit strapped at the moment. What? I'll call you again later from wherever I got to. I've got no runners. OK, then. Bye-bye. Oh, shut up. I don't know why I'm standing. I'm really tough. Something's listening What's to you. What's this, Lord? Like? It's towards your flight home from the lads. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is it doesn't... I'm so glad to see you. All right, girl, all right. Is there any news at all? No, nothing. Oh, the police come round last night after you phoned. They wanted a photo of her. Well, they're onto something. No. It was just routine, they said. Oh, come on. Some keen eyed young couple's probably spotted her even now. Oh, God, I wish they had. Oh, I wish they had. It'll be all right. <laughs> what about a nice cup of tea, huh? <laughs> Young has gone to school? Yeah, you just missed him. They said they'd come back dinner time to see you. Well, go on, then. Sit yourself down. I'll make the tea. All right. Watch it. This man's near him. I was born. He's near it. I couldn't get the bed up in fact this morning. I don't know what's the matter with us. I never leave, usually this part of a Monday morning. What time did you come in last night? Like, I must have been late because I was in bed at midnight. You weren't there. It's just as well, isn't it? Always the lads might talk. Just answer the question, eh? Oh, half one. Half one? Huh? You know half one? Sound? Sound? Walking late. Walking late. Aye? Ah, well, I suppose it's one way of saving up money. Aye, I'm keeping fit. Hey, are you start pulling some of yours? Oz? Who's a pull some, man? 
come on over here and fall out the wrong side of the coffin. Aye, well, you see, Oz reckons that you're letting the hook spirit down by going off on your own. So as a mark of his disapproval, he sent it to Coventry. Or whatever the German equivalent of Coventry is, Dresden. Here we are. Thanks, my love. But what did this note of Tracy say, then? She says... Nobody cares about me here, so I'm going somewhere else. Don't worry. Well, what does she mean, nobody cares? I don't know. The two of you haven't been rocking, have you? Bomb her. We hardly see enough of each other to say hello, never mind have a ruck. I'm so busy, we only meet in the kitchen at breakfast and tea time. Evening, she's doing her own work, and I'm asleep in this armchair from exhaustion. She had something on her mind. I'd be a fat lot of use to her. But then I'm the only one she's got at home now. Oh, I thought this would wind up my end of the table. And why shouldn't it? If you'd been here instead of in Germany, none of this would have happened. I'd have been here instead of in Germany if there wouldn't be in here. The bloody bailiffs have had us all out by now. You don't think I enjoy working abroad, do you? Oh, not much. Being separated from you and the kids is the price I have to pay for keeping our heads above water. Life of Riley. That's what you lead out there, Bomber. Don't think I don't know that. Patsy, for pity's sake. Our daughter's gone missing and listen to us. Now, I know you've got a lot on your plate, girl. Christ knows I do. But if I were to come back here to go on the door, I'd, I'd drag you all under with me. I'm so worried I've got to take it out on someone. I know, girl. I know. <coughs> All right, boy? I might be so. Huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So why we ordinary mortals have to put up with a cup of coffee and a bar of table around? Wayne's idea of Tiffy is entirely different. Yeah, well, son. She's been hanging around here for half an hour, so she must want something, eh? I've heard of rock groupies, Wayne, but never, uh, never cement groupies. Yeah, Barry, I'll use that as my opening line. Wonder if you didn't grow bromide. Good and tub. Huh? Big eights. Sorry, I don't speak German. Hey, you're a long way from home, aren't you? What is it, netball tour of Europe or something, darling? No, I come to see my dad. He works here. Oh, yeah. Bomb of Buzz, pretty cold. I'm Tracy. Oh, got news for you, Tracy. He's not here, is he? No, he took off last night back to Bristol to try and find you. Well, bugger it. Yeah, um... Well, look, you can't hang round here, love. There's all to Randy Turks on this site. You better come up here. Take this, right? Now, there's a bar down the road. You can get a nice cup of coffee and a game of pinball. Uh, if you hang on there till one o'clock, me and some of your dad's mates will come and sort it out, all right? Tom. Yeah, okay. What's your name, then? Wayne, isn't it? Thank you, Wayne. See you at one, then. Mind how you go, love. Where's your bunch of gun tonight? Dennis? Every day you ask the same daft questions. Look, man, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, man. So what, Why can't we not just get through the day before we start thinking about the night, eh? Well, that's the only way I can get through the day, man, thinking about the night, you know? It's like the carrot and donkey principle, isn't it? Beer and donkey more than like... Shut right. your face, you. All right? Mine and Dennis's social activities have got nothing to do with killjoys. I'm not a killjoy. I've just got to change my priorities for a couple of weeks, that's all. Oh, aye, aye. I don't suppose they include coming out on the drink with your mates, do they? Oh, are you talking to us now, are you? What's Bren I got you saving up for? That's so important, eh? Must be bloody important if you'll ditch your own good work and mates over it. Hey. Oh, I was supposed to be in company. Very good. Woman's daughter's here. Huh? We're here. Yeah. And between you, me and the gatepost, mate, she's a right piece of gel bait. Where is she? Hello, 
Moxie, we've got a lady guest, right? right? That means no swearing, no swan around bare arsed, no no breaking wind, right? Let's turn underneath the sheets, OK? Right. So all that applies to you is the fact especially to you. All right, all right, I know how to go on, man. Right. And another thing at all, let's have all those pornographic pin-ups off your locker, right? That's not pornography, man. Dennis, that's art. But Frau Lennon, it's over, it's art. Huh? Look, I'm going out the phone bomber, right? Just get them off. Yeah, that's just how the estate agent described it, love. Basic. Still, it's nice that the company gives you somewhere to rest during the day. Say it's going back to the hotel, I suppose. Dennis. Dennis? Oh, thank God for that. She's safe. What? Yes. Yes. Oh, I think that's the best as well. Oh, bummer. Oh, I'll head straight back there now. Come on. Cheers, Dennis. Oh, and thanks. Whatever's happened. Well, you'll never guess what. Tracy turned up there this morning looking for me. In Germany. Got all the way over there by herself. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. 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 Will, will she be all right? She'll be fine. Don't worry. She's standing up with Dennis and Neville. Huh. And Wayne. And Hobbs. Hey, Dennis, have you thought about where this lass is going to kill? Ah, yeah, I think we should put Bomber's bed into the storeroom for the night. It's isolated from the rest of them. And I'll put her in there, man. It's full of dirty old bags of cement and plaster. That's filthy, man. It's you I'm putting in there, man. Not her. Ah, can you catch up with Barry and Moxie? Hi. Hey, you should have seen Barry's face. He blushed bright pink. The Muxies are way down the town to get themselves a new pair of pyjamas. <laughs> well, I can't see what all the fuss is about me. Look, man, it is for the one night. Nobody's fussing. We've just got to make this last welcome, you know, make sure she doesn't get in any trouble. Yeah, make sure she doesn't go to the sack. Mr. Patterson. Oh, yes, yeah. This is a pleasant surprise. What can we do for you? You can tell me where Busbridge is. Uh, where, well, Mr. Busbridge, he had to go back to uh, England to sort out a little domestic problem, but uh, he'll be back in time for work tomorrow. Why was this not reported to me? Well, we didn't think it was necessary for the one night, like, you know. But I might have wanted to make a replacement. 
You must keep me informed. I need to know everything that happens on the site. Don't worry, Mr. Ulrich. We'll not not tell you about anything else. I hope so, Osborne. I hope so. Oh, one other thing. There are strange happenings at the hut. What sort of happenings? A patch of earth has been dug up and cordoned off. Why? Oh, that, uh, that's just a few of the lads making a little garden for themselves, you know. Try and brighten the place up a bit, like. Oh, yes, I've uh, heard of this English passion for gardening. But I did not think to see it on the German building site. Oh, well, this is our little home now, Harold Rick. Yeah. We've got to make the best of it. Yeah. Well, you may continue with your work. <laughs> Very kind of you. Kind? But we thought we're digging a tunnel, man. <laughs> Hello, love. Hello, Wade. I hope you don't mind, but I borrowed your walkman. And you help yourself, darling. You're all right. <laughs> you be 40, eh? Do you like them, dear? Yeah. Them are mad. <laughs> and Kim Wilder caught. Do you like her? Likes putting it mildly, isn't it? And her records ain't too bad, either. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed one of your magazines as well. Oh, you'll go blind, you will. So, been all right? To cope all right in here, huh? Yeah, except I'm going to go to the toilet. You must be, mustn't you? Well, look, if you can hang on for five minutes, darling, we'll organise something. Because uh, the lads will be back in a minute. Oh, that's a pity. Yeah, right. Well, um, first one in always brews up. <laughs> I already made a part. I was expecting to see. You're a proper little housewife, you are, aren't you? Oh, pour a cup of tea with him, will you? Oh, my throat just dries up, will you? Hush! Oh, I mean, I'm very thirsty. Hey, Grace, you don't have everything been all right? Yes, fine. Hey, I suppose you've got to be a bag. Smash it, eh? Hey, Dennis, she only had the tea ready and waiting, didn't she, eh? <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. Very nice, thank you. All right. You can come again, Pat. Level! Molly! Come and say hello to Tracy. Oh, all right. Hi, Tracy. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello. Wayne was wrong about you. You don't have a bad complexion at all. No, 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 that's, that's my mate, Moxie. All right, dear. Uh... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, yes, sorry, I see what you mean. You must be the radish, then. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Here, Den. Uh, Tracy would like to make use of the um, facilities, you know? Yeah. Oh, of course, Pet. Um, yes, uh, the thing is, we'll, we'll just have to make sure that they're not occupied. You see, this is a, a men-only site, you see? Um, Oz! What? Uh, escort Tracy down to the, uh, the amenities hut, will you? What amenities hut's this? Carls are your burg. Oh, and oh. once you make sure it's empty, make sure it stays empty, right? Guard the door. Right. Now then, uh, yes, you better put your disguise on, walk you. Okay? Now then, there shouldn't be any management about. But you never know, like, you know. Walk okay, here then. Right. Straight ahead. Straight up there. Hey, lads, I reckon we should go down the club. Hey, hold on. Hold on, what are we going to do about Tracy, eh? We can't take her down the club, apart from six geezers and one bird looking a bit dodgy, mate. She can probably drink us right under the table, yes, eh? Yes, I know, I know. Ah. That's exactly why you're going to stay here and look after her. Me? Win? Yes, win. I mean, look, man, you've, you've got much more in common with her than anybody else. I mean, things like uh, music and hair, earrings. Oh. Hold on, Dennis. I don't, don't mean to be rude, but is Wayne really the right bloke to be babysitting a 16-year-old girl? Yeah, yeah, and in a bit like putting the rat in charge of the cheese larder. I don't know whether to be flattered or insulted by you lot. Look, man, look, I can't do it, can I? I mean, I'm nearly old enough to be a father. I mean, Neville, he'd be the obvious choice. But he's going out again, isn't he? I mean, I mean, Barry and Moxie, I mean, they'd bore the poor girl to death with a herb talk, wouldn't they? Eh? And guarding a bog door is about the limit of Oz's responsibility. So that just leaves you, sir. Yeah, well, I can see your reasoning, then, but look, you can't have helped but notice that Trace is a bit of a... Well, you know, she's a bit of a come-on, isn't she? Yes, I know. And who better to cope with her than a man of the world like you, Wayne, eh? I got it. 
It's like them American TV films, innit, you know? Where they get an ex-con to go after the bad guys. Because he's the one who knows how they think. Moxie, you've just hit the nail right on the head, son. Oh, well, thank you for that tribute, Moxie. So you all trust me, then, is that it? Of course we trust you. Look, I mean, you know that she's Bomber's daughter, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And you know that we've uh, we've put our complete trust and faith in you. And you know that uh, if you lay so much as one finger on her, we'll have your plums on a skewer. No, no, he can't go in there. It's, it's, it's in, kaput. Eh? It's kaput and knackered. Back. Back. You'll have to go and back. Hard. No, no, no. Back, back. Back, back. Just me, Mr. Boro. What are you getting Boro? so excited about, man, you blokes? Only get one batter, yeah? Just me, Chakil. What, it is, it is, it? No, yeah, that's the blue. Thanks a lot, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I owe you one. Here we go, love. A perfect TV dinner. All we need now is a TV. I didn't know they had McDonald's in Germany. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere, love. Today, Germany, tomorrow, the world. Right, that sign, a grocer, Mac, mit French fries, courtesy of Barry the Radish and his delivery bike. Oh, Tom. I, uh... Oh, I did not set him calling him back. Ah, you're all right, love. He's used to a lot worse. Don't I get one? What would your dad say, eh? Get stuck in, girl, I should think. Oh, go on, then. Just the Tom. one, though, eh? I expect you think I'm a right crack going on about that hotel. I just didn't tweak that you all actually lived in here. Uh, no. We find it a bit hard to believe ourselves, yeah. love. That was my mum's fault, see? She told me Dad was over here having a wheel at the time. Huh? Well, now you're no different, don't you? I mean... We go out for the odd drink and the occasional meal and that. That's only so as we can get out of this place, though. I, uh, suppose you see a lot of girls. No, not really. I mean, just three or four a week, you know. I reckon it's the earring and the accent they go for, you know. Well, it can't be anything else, can it? Oh, I don't know. I think you're very attractive. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, I don't think you should be talking to your babysitter like that, Tracy. Don't you fancy me, then? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, it just so happens you're the daughter of a much-valued workmate. And I'm under oath, aren't I? Apart from the threat of castration, to uh, behave myself. Nobody would know, though, would they? Look, Tracy, can we drop this, love? Drop what? This uh, Lolita act. It's not now. Well, of course it is. I know when a bird's for real or not. And your line is straight out of Tracy or my guy, whatever you call them teenage magazines. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, love, is you're a 16-year-old schoolgirl. I mean, you're not a raver. You're not an heavy drinker or a foul-mouthed slaggit. So why come on like one now? Just eat your chips. Because it helps me get noticed. My mum's too busy with the other kids to listen to me, and my dad's never around. What am I supposed to do? Grow up by myself? Look, Tracy, none of us is here to get away from our families, you know. Well, Oz is, and there's, you know, Dennis's problem to a certain extent, but not Bomber. He's doing it all for you, sweetheart. And, well, you could make it all worthwhile, couldn't you, by making him feel proud of you? I know. I don't really want to hurt him. He's a great bloke. I suppose I just want to be sure he still cares about me. Yeah, all right. Well, I don't think there's much doubt about that. Tracy! Dad! You're right, huh? <laughs> hey, now you tell your dad exactly what you told me, eh? And I'll see you down the bar for a quick lemonade. All right, oh, thanks, Wayne. Uh, anytime, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be two apple juices, please, by the way. As your will power getting on, Moxie, eh? Looks as though he's had enough ridicule to me, son. Yes, sir. Have a smell of that. Oh, oh yeah, right. He's going. He's going. He's going. Oh, he's going. I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. But I can make that a pain. Hey, <laughs> Sam, I think that'll be just the one apple juice, please. You know what you are, don't you, Moxie? You're a Judas. Oh. Ah! 
That's was the word I was trying to think of tonight. Aye, well, it's a Bible again, you see. It's not your strong point. I was wanting to call Neville that. What's Neville done to incur your wrath then, eh? Well, he's not here, is he? Three nights running this, you know. I'm not coming out. I want to go for a walk. Look, that's because the man is trying to save up some money, man, was. Huh? And considering that's where most of his money goes, that's the best place to make economies. Oh, I'd... Personally, I admire his willpower, me. Ah, but what's that got to do with him not coming out on a drink? Huh? Oh. Hey, here they are, the happy wanderers. Where are you? What are you going to have, eh? Hey! Hey? Oh, what's his name, Snaps? How about you, Tracy? Copley Flame. Well, get a Snaps down, you go. No, thanks, Dad. I'm only 16, remember? The Coke will be fine. I'm putting this young lady in a hotel tonight, so she can catch the first train back in the morning. Oh. And if you lads fancy the bite to eat in town, no bars are on me. Oh, oh no way! Hey, 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 that's just yeah. what we need, eh? Yeah. Celebration, yeah. right? Uh, where well, we're gonna go then? Anywhere that flogs steak will do me. I'm not half much a big man. No, can I make a suggestion? Can I make a suggestion that, um, in, in order to avoid the outbreak of a civil war, like, no, uh, can I suggest that, um, you know, Tracy decides what we go? Good idea. What do you think, Zamela? Well, I know this sounds silly, but I'd really like a curry. I don't suppose they have them in Germany, though. Oh, no, that's just where you're wrong, actually, Tracy. No, actually, that's just where you're wrong. Good <laughs> oven. Oh, the table for seven, uh, uh, Seven, huh? Seven. seven. Moment. Ich hole you, man. Just pull the table, say, get out of my hand. Just like that one. Actually, thanks. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, I'll tell you what, we should get Barry a Vindaloo, eh? I'll get him back on the old beer. <laughs> get him back on the party, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> right, listen, I shall handle it this time, OK? We don't want your uh, give us a clue routine upsetting the waiter. All right, Lionel? All right, all right, all right. Oh, well, uh, let's get <laughs> out. Right. Hey, Sabo! <laughs> Bloody hell, it's Clive of India! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That's on the I've heard of the northwest frontier, but never the northeast. <laughs> That's what you've been doing, eh? <laughs> started in a lady. <laughs> Come on, get them all over with. Oh, I should think we've only just started by all. Good job, then I'm in trouble. Oh, goodness gracious me! That's right. I have a good laugh. Just because I show a bit of initiative and get myself a part time job. What on earth is Brenda saving for to reduce you to this, eh? Well, you must know it's our fifth week. Wedding anniversary later this year. Yeah. I thought it'd be nice if we had a second honeymoon. <laughs> Dressed like that, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Give it a rest, Wayne, man, will you? Sure, where are you thinking of going, New Delhi? <laughs> no, probably the same as the first time, Minorca. <coughs> I still don't know where Minorca is yet. <laughs> well, how do you think I feel, neither do I. <laughs> how much do you need, then? Oh, that's just it. I've nearly got enough, Dennis. I'm just seeing out the week. <laughs> I never thought you lot would find out. <laughs> well, I tell you what. You get the order right tonight. Well, I'll put a good tip in motor lads. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Look, now that we've got that, now that we've got that sorted out, come have a bit of service. Go and get in. Here it goes. Boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, diddy boom, boom, boom. New lamps for round. New lamps for round. Hey, Neville, have they got the uh, chicken? You know, chicken on the boom, boom. Do the boom, you know, boom. Hey, buddy! Moxie! You better get outside! The birds are eating all the ass seeds. Hey! Go on! Moxie! Moxie, Moxie! Quick! Moxie! Ugh. Stroke it up, really. Could have killed a lot of it. But 